response that was from Paper Rex. They take Sentinels down on a map that they were never supposed to win. I'm your host, Ying Su, and I'm back here with SciShow and uh, Tom. What happened? Monia and Apple. <laughs> I, I, I said going into this map that they couldn't win if Zekin continued being the best player in the server, and he wasn't anymore. Uh, and that isn't to say that there wasn't also some big team play elements going on and playing at a faster pace that caught sent off, but when you're getting that version of Monia, it is just a different beast. He's at, he's at it. He good? Yeah. Yeah? All right, okay, well, let's check out the uh, <laughs> just, HyperX just... reflex moment of the day. This uh, was Monia. Surely, Tom, you have something to say about this. Yeah, no, he was truly incredible. This sort of ace was just ridiculous coming out from him. Basically took over the entirety of the round on his own. And yeah, I, I have absolutely no idea how he's just able to utterly dominate in every single one of these duels versus players that in the last map were pretty much diffing him. We said yeah. it, 14 and four in battles versus Zekin in the last map, and he was just crazy. Yeah, he, his performance was so good. He had two double kills, three triple kills, an ace. He multi-killed in a third of the rounds that happened, which is just a bonkers performance. And it's turned the entire game on its head. Uh, now it's it's really feels like a battle between Monia and, and uh, Zekin to see who can have more impact on that entry role. Yeah, I mean, I saw somebody in the crowd with a sign saying, I miss you, Jing. I don't know about it right now, but it doesn't look like <laughs> Paper Rex is missing Jing all that much for the first time in this tournament, Tom. Hey, you know what? The fact is, he was very good on this map on GE when he played controller, so why not both? <laughs> just just have them both going crazy. That's the thing. This was always a map that genuinely Munyet was insane, and it is, well, in theory, the last, well, maybe not the last map, but it will be one of the times up until the next one where he's not going to be going and playing that raise anymore. But he does play quite an aggressive role even on their sunset. Yeah, these are two of the players that ended up swapping roles around yes. coming into this version of Split. Monyet was on smokes, went to raise. Forsaken was carrying on raise and decided to take a, a step back. And for me, it's just all about Monyet's ascension into a spot where you don't start thinking about, oh, if Jing was here, maybe they'd be winning, right? The fact that he has... They haven't reinvented their style in the same way that Loud did. They've just, they, it felt like they were trying to do that at the beginning of this tournament. And now Monyet's like, all right, I didn't want to play Raze, but I guess I'll just be as good as Jing, shall I? Yeah. It's ridiculous. I think a lot of it comes down to just sheer confidence. It's like at the beginning of the tournament, they were definitely a little bit more shaky, losing, what was it, to EDG. Yeah. It definitely didn't look that great. Now I feel like they've got to the point in the tournament where any pressure's like, okay, if we go further than this, we're doing amazingly well. We're having a great tournament, even if people People are sort of looking at us and going, oh, that was shaky, that was dangerous. And I think he's just slowly got used to the stage. Because that's the thing, like when he played with G in the past, it was a, a very quick <laughs> in and out. It was. And then didn't wham, really get bam. that same experience. <laughs> yeah, let's talk about this agent select here for Sunset, because uh, this is the only map that Paper Rex have looked good on this tournament uh, yes. without fail. Yeah, and also this is coming back to the first time that these teams matched up against each other in the off season. Sentinels have now stolen Paper X version of the composition, but they don't run it with the Sage. And I I think the Sage adds a ton of weird stuff. There are boosts all over the map that Paper X love to do. It's an extra layer into the post plan, but it does mean Sen can try to flank them really aggressively. So if Sen want to play the defense really aggressively, there are no trips, and Paper X have got to be watching out for that at all times. I think also you just have to look at, like you've got a matchup of geckos. They're going to play this completely the opposite. Oh yeah. These are the two yep. most different geckos you are ever going to see. Well, Sentinels, they have another chance to close this out. Pansy and Hypog, let's see if this is the place that they do it. It's back to the wall for Paper X, but they give themselves a chance. Sen still sit with the advantage here, Mike. They just need one more, and they've been good here, but so have Paper X. Yeah, it feels like maybe this is the start of the home stretch. Could be. Paper X can turn things around after that explosive win on Split. <laughs> oh, there's that. I just, I just want to, I just want to go to bind if I'm honest. Yeah. Like it, it just from the the the. The purest aspect of, I want to see more of this level of Valorant. I, again, don't really care who wins, if I'm honest. It's been excellent from both. Really good series so far, just waiting to jump into the game. Not sure what the holdup is here. Hopefully that gets resolved quickly. Can't read the signs. Difficult. Joe, Leah, is that my sign eyes? up for us. It, sorry, who did? Leah. Oh, really? Yeah, headroom. Okay. Yeah, not Leah. Not Kevin. Wow. Producer Kev. Like, you know, like, do you know what we haven't had though? 
tech fours. We actually haven't. I, know, I wasn't going to say I it. I wasn't going to say it until we're guaranteed the last <laughs> map. No, we got to we got to bring it to existence. This isn't a tech pause, by the way. This no, one doesn't not. count. No, it doesn't. But what does count is we are now moments away from jumping in to sunset. It's been a stronghold for Paper X. It's looked fantastic for Sentinels. But who gets it now? It's everything on the line here. A lifeline given for Paper X, but still so many opportunities for Sentinels. Early exploration towards mid, removal of the door here. Side of Paper X, and nothing noted on the back of Sassy's utility either. But Paper X a chance to stack up here. Leave a few question marks across the map. Force Sentinels to try and garner some information another way. A stack towards B. Sassy almost just playing to shoulder this angle here. And Paper X feeling themselves. Good read. I mean, it, it looks tailored for a retake anyway. I'm not particularly yeah. bust by this. So, good approach. And as long as Sen have all their utility, which they are obviously going to be keeping here, no harm, no foul. That smoke going towards CT. That should start to potentially pry some of the Sentinels players away from position on B. Plant going to come in. Wall to CT. Spike planted. And here we go. This is when it all gets a little fun, doesn't it? And that's a start. Something takes down his opposing number and gets to just play the angle. He's here to throw some utility around the corner as well. Just to slow Sentinels down. Oh, another oh. headshot found. Might even find Tens through the box. No, he doesn't. He's still got Dizzy to throw over the top as well. Look at the stall. Look at the utility stall on this, Mike. It's so difficult to get around that corner. And CT just wasn't accessible for most of the players. Yes, Zekken's going to find Mind Freak, but they're still trying to break back in. Hold up. Oh, no way. Not again. It's magic in Madrid for Monyet. How does he keep doing this, Mike? I mean, the stall is just outrageous. And just when you think Sentinels have found a way to pry their way back onto the site, it's Monyet to sweep the round off its feet. It was looking like it might have got a bit too that close there. adjustment is outrageous. Oh, damn. That's going to get him pumped up. <laughs> a sigh of relief yep. from Alex. The Paper X to draw first blood here on Sunset. Nice, though. Yeah, a lot of information on the back of that. Are they diligent on the clear here? Forsaken, I think just jump spotting. Yeah, he's seen something that's not sitting well with him. So they're going to have to invest a little coming back in, which is good to see the protocols there, even in a round like this. And they are walking into a lot of players, Mike. Actually, the plant's sent through here. Not fair. Mr. Eden, John QT not showing his hand just yet. Finally, no! does reveal no! himself. He gets two. It's a disaster for Paper X. Made a meal out of it, and now there's a real opportunity. Can they still cause more problems? Yes, they can with tens. The doing that. Going through. Oh, my word, my freak. Oh, just he stopped got it. Off. He just about stopped it, but it's not going to change any of the outcome. John QT. So calm and collected as they all drifted on by. Tens then comes in with two for himself, but watch this again. The paranoia perfect, the follow-up utility from Dizzy too. The second they had that chance, Mike, they capitalized on it. Yeah, timed to perfection. The paranoia catching Devai having no idea. The sound cues blocked here. That's a round two flip for Sentinels. Stunting their early progress. Sheriffs across the board for them here, but see the rifles coming in like that for Sentinels. This is again looking to find some early info. It's only going to be Mind Freak noted. But very early progress up mid here. A nice little way to gather information for Paper X2. A chance there for Forsaken to find yeah. it, but. Tens a little sharper with the Bulldog. And again, just taking the tour of the map, really, looking for probably some impact. I mean, they've gone for the Sheriffs here, not completely without teeth into this round. But John QT, I don't know if they spotted him or just simply spammed when the smoke fell. But it's worked out. They're going to get a plant for themselves, so that's Monyet working towards the ult. 
And now we wait to see if any further damage comes in. Numbers advantage, so waiting for the last stragglers. Zekin and Sassy come through and reinforce here. And John QT to finally open them on yet will fall. Just two left to find now. Dubai tries to find something. Clean mind free cleaned up. Very nice. All five standing. Another flawless to add. Flawless. Four Sentinels find themselves out in front here. A 2 1 lead. Conversion after flipping round two as well. Ooh. Paper X progress towards oh, ults. Yeah. yeah. Something hasn't been uh, afraid of pulling it out every so often. Looking to find uh, a little more damage once again, and maybe indicative of. Paper X slowing the pace a little bit. Again, we have seen Sentinels kind of testing those extremities. So maybe a good chance wow. to try. Okay, tested middle as well. Divide just stood there and accepted his fate because where else were you going to go? But something does find the reply. That's on Mind Freak, not. I, uh, this is a wild round. Hold on. Spikes on the way back through. TP had to be taken to get out of danger. One yet trying to re clear this space. Keep your eyes towards Forsaken as well. He's the one towards middle. Wonder if he finds him some space here potentially, but they're re-aggressing on B main. On yet, oh, he's sharp. He's on it today, folks. That's two. He's brought this back to a 2v2, Mike. Look at the space taken by Forsaken elsewhere. He's playing in the cut right now. Zelsis down to seven HP, tens uh, 56. Is the awareness here? No, Zelsis knife out. Punished here, it's now tens on a long flank. Shattering something's progress. Might even get a 1v1 here. 24 HP. The operator, though, it's yeah. good for it. Something I gotta say, the, the mid round calling of that again, the space found by Forsaken was just exceptional. But the bailout from Mon yet, too, really on the money there. Yeah, and again, a little bit of a mystery, I guess, on the setup in B main here. As Sentinels look to regress. Initially, Sassy punished here. Zelsis almost caught Fragment in hand. Ooh. Sorry, an operator being toyed with or at least considered by Sentinels. Wonder if they're going to commit to it. Not the case. What do we have alt wise as well? Nothing really. At least for the Sentinel side, of course. Still two for Paper X. They got options this round. So it's something that's going to continue for, to look for picks like this now. Actually, it's not even him on a solo mission here. They're going to very quickly be able to remove this camera. Force some sort of adjustment on the side of Sentinels. See on the X-ray here, something brazen in approach. Bold to go for that. No punish on the back of this ult. But the walk out towards A. Keep your, two, your eyes towards the players walking through towards Tiles. Could they catch him in middle? They're going to try and get towards the side. This is a really uncomfortable place to be playing towards. Zekin does catch. It's Mon yet to fall. And now he calls in something. He has to deliver. A tag not enough. And John QT with a punish. Sentinels with a fantastic playback through. The spike unable to go down here. That should, catch was just exceptional, Mike. Yeah, Wall should slow things down here, allow them some comfort to plant, but look at the minimap. Look at this flank coming through right now Last from Zekin. 5 HP, finds Mind Freak, can't find the second. By forced to heal up here. This is a lot to ask of one player, though. Not going to happen. Tens, lovely. And again, Mike, the timing, a couple seconds difference, but that walk through tiles pretty much allowed all that information to free flow. Yeah, definitive. Hey, Prex. Pump the brakes here. Another early timeout. One yet just caught at the last second. Well, there's the kill from John QT yeah. as well. Well handled, well controlled by Sentinels. Again, even giving the time here for Zekin to really make that flank worthwhile, guaranteeing value. I mean, been getting away with some plants today. Not, yeah. not necessarily getting shut down on the wingman front. Curious. Yeah, uh, you're catching me. I'm curious now if uh, Paper X resort back to a different approach now that the operator's not available. Maybe a pace change to employ here for Paper X. 
Not necessarily an early concern, still 3-2. Mm. Kept honest here, only really the finances separating them. Now, speaking of the finances, Sentinels looking very flush. Oh, yeah. Other than Zekin down at 600, but everybody else above 45. QT, a last minute purchase to come through. And it'd be unsurprising to now see Paperx trying to pressure at least that A main challenge at the start. The knife again did not well, very early on last time, yeah. so curious if that's going to be the case again. Problem being, it's unbreakable, so. Yeah. They try and catch this early timing. They have to give up the info. Yeah, and, it's, and, and I, I kind of like the response here from Sentinels by almost overstacking this. Because it really then can be hard to... It almost dissuades Paperx and those leaked around to be going back in for that challenge. Still creeping up on this, though. Okay. Sticking to their guns. Get him, wing. The wingman's down. One yet drifting onto a deeper angle here. He's got Zekin and Sassy to overcome here. Still, Zelsis in close proximity as well. A knife should have caught at least two players, I would have thought. Forsaken, where did he find that space? And the instantaneous response, though. Zekin doubles down he's towards looking, Elbow. He's looking to wrap this. And Forsaken... Oh, my God, the timing. I don't know who saw who. No one no, saw anyone. Nobody saw anybody. They, they, they're, they, they, they're, they're following each other. They have no idea how close they are. Bye-bye, Forsaken. Now yeah. does reveal a little of the position, but they're left with so few standing. It's Defy with a res, and oh, the information just going to be sent right back through. What can two players do here? That's same a great start. Well. Yeah, OK, all from the same position. Paranoia not going to fight. Um, that was a little bold from Tens. And Mindfreak can just catch the cross, try and tee up Devi. Anything to disrupt him? Not really. And the cross, so deadly, he plays ahead of it. Could have waited. Sentinels. Grasp onto that with both hands. But Tens at least acts as the information probe here. The Sentinels to pull off the retake. Uh, and yeah, and you, when you see the set of snake by there, you know that this retake can be split down the middle. A player isolated, but nonetheless, Sentinels. A third successful retake. Playing the timing really well here. Maybe banking on the paranoia catching and <laughs> audacious TP not being yeah. noted. Paperx, a few ultimates in hand here. Got the null command, got the res, the TP for Monyet. It's definitely tools to bring into round seven here. Well, this is starting to get out of hand. If you kind of keep in mind the rounds that have been won, Sentinels have started to stabilize massively here. And that's perfect from Tens, punishing Mind Freak to try to take any of that space towards eight. And an instant response from the rest of Paper X is just to go the other way. We'll be walking into oh, whether or not that step was heard. I don't see a ping on the minimap, but yeah, the ping is on the minimap, actually. They have heard this step, but they're walking into three-man stack here. Watch if it goes down, will slow any progress. Isolating one yet a little bit, but not punished just yet. But they still need to clear the site, yeah. They didn't clear the backside of Til uh, Pillar, so Zeltis gets to do that. Picking up two. Mon yet, are you? This guy is so audacious as well. But this is a lot to handle. A lot of players on that corner. Sassy. They want to keep it safe. And again, Sentinels starting to tear this lead away, Mike. This is looking a little one-sided here. An opportunity to stretch their legs even further with a lesser purchase on the horizon for Paper X. You're right, even though initially like, uh, there wasn't too much threat with this three-man stack, Celsius goes unchecked and results in two kills. Necessarily expecting a response here from Paper X, so this gap should widen a little bit. So the funds unmoved on side of Sentinels. Big cushion here. How are they going to disrupt John QT and Zelsis in this moment? Knife does get denied, but the ult, depended upon John QT, comes out of the flash just fine. Finds to fight, can't quite get the second. Hold on! Snap! Back 
to attention as something delivers two bullets to the brain. Delsis just dealt with on the ground. This is a plant now. This is potentially a window of chance. I wasn't expecting the response, but it might just come through. And they sent through. Deckard looking to use the stop it. Yeah, they shut down. What a read. And not yet again finding more. It's all on Sassi. Position. Oh, oh my I got it. Oh my, there's no way, there's no way. Paper X had to hunker down in that after that shot. They made something out of nothing there. Well, this is another example versus the previous, I mean, something with the second time this series, two ridiculous Sheriff kills to really open up a round. Yeah, what is that? And even this from Monyet playing so well into that, maybe expecting the ult could have come through, just bursting through the smoke, took a risk, and it worked out well. The whole round looked like a frag movie there. <laughs> have we got a mid walk, Mike? Yeah, very, very quick as well. Not really, no caution in the approach yet. And this is something that we haven't seen before. This could really catch him off guard. And it does. Zekken. Oh, and the follow-up to on yet disrupted. Paper X going to be baffled by what just happened. And Zels is controlling from top middle. They're just going for the fight. Knives in middle, basically, at this point. The spike is still in hand with something, but they have so little space to work from. Divine something to try and recover something, if anything, here. That's it, first onto Tenzin's found. Oh. Uh, John QT finds a response over the top here. Zelsis to seal the deal on Sentinel's sixth. What odds do we have? Nothing key, you could argue, for Sentinels. On the other side, a little bit to play with, actually. Six to three, but the money. Factor for Paper X. More of a traditional start here. None of that work down mid. It's going to be Zekin and Sassy on the other side of this. Watch bit to slow. Paper X locked out behind this at the minute. We'll give them some sort of safe passage. Yeah, trying to play in Zekin off that, but not going to get what they want here. All going to come through too. Plant, not yet in. And they don't know about Zekin yet. What does he do with this one? Just spams away. He tries to find a corner to play from, but it's Zelda to find Mon yet. Pit still stands. The something. Got out. Will they get caught on this then? This is a bit of an issue. Look at the HP, it's dwindling. Something down low, Forsaken's fallen. Zelf is on a heat in this round. Can they find the final two players though? Difficult, tricky, something. Oh, that's Players dangerous down. play, but Mind Freak, this would have to be hero levels of work. He can stick through the snake fight. He's, oh, he's gonna be defusing, nothing to stop it. John QT, yes, will find the kill in the end, but the defuse wasn't stopping. Another successful retake here. Zels is finding, uh, I believe, another blind kill in here to the pit, yeah. To shut down one yet. Well, make that a third. Yeah. There it is. MVP. The fuse. Seven to three. <laughs> Frustration showing. So operator back in play. This time with Tenzo. What's so what he's up to with this? Looking like he's kind of sitting towards top middle. The double stack towards A delivers Zekin, controlling. And Paper X just not finding their footing here, Mike. Struggling a little and Forsaken taking Zekin, a bit yeah. of damage on him. Dancing with death. You Look at the heal regardless. Res comes that. through. Paper X five strong once again. Despite making a rotation here, Mind Freak dealing with a trip. Zelsus does he swing on to this? John QT is oh. wow. beheaded. Paper X looking a little lost here, Mike. That will shut any opportunity of finding a timing back over towards B site. Looks like they might even commit behind this. Spike dropped. There. 
very much in control of this map. Is the ult enough to do anything? Forsaken, oh, he's been caught there by Second Sentinels. So in control. It needs to be miracles from Divine. It doesn't look like it's happening. This is looking concise. It's looking clear on this half. Again, one of the most one-sided ones we've had so far. Divai, unfortunate here. There's no way out. That's it, Sentinels. Strong control this time. Eight rounds. Maybe losing a little bit of that confidence from Split, but picking it right back up here. Yeah, stabilizing on Sunset. Early pick comes through, forcing the res. Second, ended up with four on the round for him. Rewarded with a showstopper now. Round 12, it's a shaky purchase here for Paper X. And trailing by five. Distance, you're feeling it. Sentinels looking lively, looking sharp, looking like they're firing on all cylinders. On yet, with a little bit of an opportunity there, a chance, but he doesn't really get what he wanted. But look at the response over towards B main. Yeah, early progress made, and Sentinels not looking like they want to slow down either. Adjustment of John QT's utility. And Paper X are almost walking into the trap here. Being herded. Look at Zelsis and Zekin. They might even catch Monia ahead of this execute. They absolutely have. I think maybe one smoke went in at best, but Ten's still here already, herding them around this map and waiting for that cross. Sharp as ever, he's getting one. He's got the three! Anymore! He's at least got Wingman as well, but Ten's just holding that cross. They were never making it past. And Sentinels, maybe a blip on the radar on Split, but instantly back in control, in touching distance to the finals now, with nine rounds to their name. Looking very comfortable for them. Can Paper X dig deep once again? Require a huge comeback to make things happen. Keep this series alive. That's what they need to keep this series going. This is going very much in Sentinel's favor right now. Is this the last half we're going to see? Hello, guys. I am Jordan Zelsis Montemurro. I play Valorant for Sentinels. How I'm feeling for this match, I'm pretty, pretty disappointed, to be honest. I feel like we're very disconnected today as a team, whether it be like the game plan, our teamwork, comms, energy, stuff like that. It kind of felt like from the get-go, we were disconnected, and that's kind of just how I'd, I'd sum it up. So I'm kind of, a, I'm kind of disappointed in us as a, as a squad. I think the biggest thing with our Breeze is we were pretty strong in it before they reintroduced Halls, and I think we kind of just like straight away from it. We tried to learn like other maps, stuff like that. Like we still feel pretty confident on the map, but I mean, being disconnected as a team, you're never gonna win. Else is with his utility, but also with his Odin at the back. Hasn't been revealed. He sat patiently waiting with his gun in hand, and he's gonna win the fight again. Oh, even look at the spam through. He's done a lot of damage to Karen, but he's just buying time for the rotation. Oh! You don't really see plays like this every single day. Sat at the back with the Odin in hand. And he just got caught the side of his own. I think us having to go from playing now and then we have to play best of five will definitely, it'll definitely be a climb, but it's nothing we haven't done before. Like, you know, we had to, we lost our first match in kickoff, had to play through a lot of matches, had to play through plans. We had a very long off season, so we've been grinding. We just need to make sure that, you know, we show up in the lower best of five and, you know, hopefully we win three O's. Doubters, I mean, I'm getting paid. I'm playing here, here sitting at home. Hopefully we keep winning and pissing you off. Sentinels leading this series, leading this half. It's looking like they're about to lead themselves into the grand finals. Paper X with three, Mike. This has to be it. They've got to come up with something now. It all starts with a pistol. Can they get themselves on the board here in the second half? It's looking like it might be Mon yet. something to try and hold down the fort here. I mean, early information garnered on the side yeah, of Paper nice. X. 
should have probably seen everyone. Yeah, definitely. So, big response is made. A little bit of caution edge just in case it is a fake, but it is committed to. <laughs> Sen, full commit on this. They are already on the site. Something actually, actually an actually. interesting spot here. Does it get re-cleared though? No, he gets some play on this one. Mon yet by his side. Second falls. Smoke not quite in the right place. And Sassi unleashing, unleashing Fury. We're down to 3v2. Mind freak and Dubai. The wall is up. Does it get broken in time? A tap on the spike and it draws them in. Tens goes looking, goes hunting, and he finds his victim. It's Mind Freak remaining. And Tens gets Sentinels 2 10. Double digits early. Paper X now walking the tightrope. Did we see any investment here? to try and slow this down. One enemy remaining. Confidence displayed once again here from Sentinels. Some beautiful pistol rounds on display from them today. You can feel it now. You can see that confidence on their faces. You can start seeing them come alive. Just a couple more rounds and they're back at the grand finals with a chance of vengeance, a chance at revenge, a chance at a title. There. In their way, Paper X still with an opportunity. Zelsa's just got caught here. Down to 5 HP. Closing in. Dizzy goes. This is good. But Tens is better. Doing the damage to keep them at arm's length. They can't gap close towards it. Looking for this weapon, though. I don't know if that was the Sheriff that got lost it. No, actually, Mind Freak and Devi. Looks like it's just getting up on the angle, though. Nearly punished. Brought down to one HP. No heal available because Devi's already taken damage here. Sentinels will find themselves a wide open A site. Cover Paper X left trailing. They need some value out of this. Chip damage is not enough. They need tangible value. When does, the res when does the heal come back? I think it should be back online now. Looking for it. Five seconds. You're going to see Mon yet. The top side of this, the rest being quite loud in approach. But already, I'm pretty sure John QT has noted this. Sentinels fully aware. Yeah, John Q Oh, that was a mistake from Tens. Maybe not expecting them so close by. But Mind Freak now needs a miracle. He's got three more to find and not much of a chance to do it. Time against him. Players against him. He can't get the shot. Sentinels up to 11 now. Paper X held on three. Feels like this buy round will decide it. Near yeah, see what Sentinels are able to scrape together. I mean, three left standing from the previous. Rounds to play with, so they don't need to stack the chips here. Push all in in round 15. Only really sassy with the early progress towards Ultimate as well. A decent stack of rifles. Need to see a response here from Paper X, Lauren. It's, it's Needs desperate. to come now. It's now or it's never, Mike. This is the moment for them to step up the flash. Good. The swing is there. Something. Going to take down second. Need more of where that came from, though. Dizzy finding very little. Might be quite telling. Not seeing any more pressure towards mid. Monyet must be on red alert. And Tens, dangerous on the angle. Gonna fall off this one. May not note the full extent of presence. Something. Oh, John QT with the backup. Tens never fighting alone here. The pressure on the site starting to mount now. Got himself safe passage, though. Cross is easy enough. And actually, Monia punished as well. Forsaken finds a response, though. Zelsis will fall. Brings it to a 3v3. Spike still not planted, but coming through now from the wingman. We'll give Sentinels a chance to fully reset on the back of this. Yeah, and Tens is looking heated up though. Look at this timing and look at the positioning. He could be the dagger in the back or he could just wait. Let's this is see so much feels. info, Lauren. Yeah, he's clearing as he goes, 30 HP. It's probably all he needs. Maybe not even a fair fight on this. They've just got to buy some time because the Reaper's on the way. He's going to spot one, take him down. They know there's going to be more. Doesn't get more though. A 2v2 here, Defiant Forsaken. Still a little time, but this angle's so hard to clear. So brutal to try and pass away, to try and push them away from. Devai, desperate. He needs another fight here, and he needs it fast! 
but I don't think he's got the time for this one, Mike. It's going to be close, but not close enough. It's 12 for Sentinels. Heartbreak to not get that first half to fuse in. Sentinels now. Knocking on the door of the grand finals. Beautiful reposition from Tens as well. Playing the pressure perfectly. The rest of the team falling back, giving that space, allowing time to Tens to find some value. I mean, if anything, I'm looking at the purchase here. Sorry to get ahead of this, but it's looking better than you'd imagine for Paper X. But it looks like a brawl, Mike. I'm seeing everyone in middle, but Divine, the one to burn them out, but Sassy still this there on it. the back lines. They're hunting them down, they're chasing them down. Something saving Paper X. But it's down to 1v1, and of course it's going to be Tens. Is he the one to do this for them? The return to the international stage like this. Can you be the man to step up? Mind Freak on the other side. And the time ticking. He's taking a look towards CT. Just as Mind Freak starts clearing the site, does he read it correctly? He's going to hear this. Did he spot him? Did he see him? Two already in the round. A third would be needed. He's creeping closer. Mind Freak's not stopping. He's got to check. And he does! Sentinels are going to the grand finals! America's last hope holds true. As the prodigal son to close things out here. Sentinels that bounce back on sunset at 33. Domination of Paper X. Yeah. A heartbreaking loss, but sometimes the brightest lights cast the darkest shadows, Lauren. Paper X, a turbulent journey here in Madrid but an achievement nonetheless for them you're absolutely right there considering the changes considering their own opinions of themselves coming into this event their own accreditation of all where the they questions were. all the questions yes. all the doubts and they're still it, this, made it this far yeah a fantastic side paper X couldn't quite keep it up towards the end of this best of five but Sentinels to turn attention to the victors here what a moment, what a welcome back. Yes, defeat against Gen G, but now they get to walk into a grand finals. Incredible. It's good to see them back as well. It's been a while. And the performance so far, take nothing away. They're still gunning to take things home here in Madrid. Yeah. And honestly, I mean, split aside, which now, uh, I mean, Throw, throw all of the results out the window. Yeah, yeah, Another yeah. loss here. 13 5 once again, but overall, fantastic performance from Sentinels so far. Tens and Zekin continue to deliver, continue to give more and more for the Sentinels side. No, they, they, they have been incredible to watch. What a fantastic series. And to wrap up the day, to kind of put a bow on it all. It's the analyst desk. Thank you very much, Fanzi and Hypog. What a last map that was from Sentinels. I've got SciShow and Tom back here with me. That's not how I expected to it for, it for it to end. No, I mean, both teams dominated on the opponent's yeah. best map. And I felt like while the rest of the series had a player who took over, that was a tactical dismantling of the way that Paper X played. Little Brother learning from Bigger Brother and taking it apart. It was sick. We did, we did get some crazy stuff from Tens, though. Yeah. Like, yeah, I, yeah. I feel like throughout the series, he was a... Uh, it was middling. He was he was all right, okay. but in you that last map, yeah, yeah. In the, he was a ten in the last map. Yeah. You know, I, I'll double it. Yeah, he was nuts. <laughs> he was nuts. Honestly, funny that you should say that. I had this pre-prepared already. Ten out of tens. Those yeah. are the tens. Yeah, that's uh, one for uh, tens, one for Zekin. Tekken. Ten out of ten. You really want this to stick, don't you? I Stop, also really. feel Stop like... trying to make fetch happen. It's not, it's not happening. <laughs> Great reference. I feel like this guy was also kind of a MVP performance. Yeah, this. yeah. I, I, it's just it's so sad seeing Paper X lose out in this fashion, but they were comprehensively beaten there in that kind of. It, it's a very similar kind of comp head-to-head uh, -head battle, but. It's tough to see them go home like that, but Sen with a rematch is going to be awesome. Yeah, but this is the thing. This is the paper racks that came in here saying, we're six out of 10, we're struggling, we're not feeling great. And Tom, they still made top three. Yeah, that, that's the thing. It, it was one of those teams that we didn't have many high expectations of. 
they did as well as they could, they're going to be better next time. Well, I can't wait to see uh, what Tens had to say about this. He's standing by with Kakuka for the Verizon post-match interview. I'm here joined by Tens. First of all, congratulations. Uh, my first question is going to be, you were in the first final for the first international masters ever. But the question is going to be, you had a different roster. What makes this roster capable of such greatness? I think this is the best iteration that uh, Sentinels has had for a roster. Just, we work together, we get along, we're great friends, and I think we trust each other, and that's what matters the most. Le preguntaba que, bueno, él ya ha estado en, en la primera final que tuvimos de la primera Masters Internacional, ¿qué es lo que hace que este roster también pueda ser capaz de lo mismo? Y él dice que confían mucho en el uno en el otro y que esta versión del roster es lo mejor que han tenido en años. Okay, so my next question is going to be, what is going on with Split? Yesterday, today, what do you think is going on there? I think we generally just need to wake up on Split. We've been kind of lazy, uh, especially since Split's been our territory for quite a while now, and it is our best map. Uh, but yeah, we're 0-2 on it since uh, since then, so we just got to wake up, I think. Le preguntaba también qué es lo que estaba pasando en Split, un mapa que se les ha dado también, pero que en los dos últimos días, pues no tanto. Dice que, que bueno, que sí, que es su primer mapa, pero que a lo mejor se han tranquilizado un poco, que precisamente les ha dado esa confianza de relajarse. Okay, so just yesterday you were losing against Gen G. Tomorrow you're going to be facing them again, but it's going to be a best of five, and they're going to get uh, those two bands. What can we expect to be different from your point of view? I think uh, the the signals that we showed yesterday against Gen G wasn't the real us. So if we bring the the proper form and we play together as a team, I think it's going to be a lot more of a match to watch. Okay, le preguntaba también que obviamente mañana tienen el rematch contra Genji, pero esta vez va a ser un mejor de cinco y ellos, Genji, van a tener dos bans eh, para el mejor de cinco. ¿Qué va a ser diferente? Dicen que tienen que, de nuevo, que la comunicación tiene que estar en pie, que tienen que volver a, a, a jugar su juego y sentirse cómodos con lo que están haciendo y que así pues, será más divertido de ver. Uh, lastly, you have friends, family, fans here watching you. I want to, you to, you know, just send the hype up, thank them for their support and also hype them up for tomorrow. Thank you to all the amazing fans that came out here today. Thank you for supporting us. It means a lot to us. Uh, thank you to my family. And yeah. Okay, thank you very much. We will see you tomorrow. Welcome back to the desk. What's going on here? What's going on here? We got Sassy. Welcome in. Congratulations thank on you, an excellent you. performance, Sassy. Uh, especially that final map. It was destructive. I've, I've been hearing from some of the other players on your team talking about how there were mentality problems a little bit when he went up against Gen G previously. We heard it from Jordan as well. Yeah. So can you talk me through what was the mental difference like in that game versus this one? Because you looked on fire from the beginning. I think we were just thinking about us. Uh, when we faced Gen G, we were thinking more about them than us, and they got like really messy around it. And then today we're like, bro, let's just play our game. You know, we don't care about Paper X. You know them, right? We know how they play. So let's just play our game, and we'll be fine. Yeah. Now, one of, one of the things I sort of wanted to lead into is obviously you you made one of the biggest roster moves maybe in the history of Valorant. It has been a while since obviously we saw you in one of those big finals. You've now made it back with a second team. Are, are you the guy that's sort of dragging everyone through? Are you the championship mentality guy or are you really feeling it with the new team as well? I mean, it's not fair for everyone to say that I'm that guy, <laughs> but I'm feeling like not only me, but also Jordan, like Zelsis and John QT were like, so big on this tournament. They are so big on this tournament. So I think it was like more props to Dan. Also the coaching staff are making like a beautiful job for us. It's make, made our life so comfortable to play it. So yeah, I think it's a, about everyone, not just so It's a ball buff. Sure. He said it's a ball buff. I think that's why. It's about buff too. But, but do you, does it feel special to be back in that kind of position Oh yeah. Again? <laughs> oh yeah, for sure. Like for me, I took one year vacation. <laughs> we just lost almost yeah. everything. Then we came back, we played some off-season tournaments. We did good and then we got kickoff. So, you know, it's good to be back on top again.
Uh, I believe that in your two previous finals appearances, one you went through the upper bracket where you had the advantage, and one when you went through the lower and you ended up. Uh, or did you go through no, the lower? No, this is my first time on lower. This is your first oh, time on yeah, the yeah. lowers. You're right, but you won one time and you lost one time despite yeah. having the map pool advantage. Do you think it's all it's cracked up to be? <laughs> it's a big advantage, but I mean, you're 50 50 with it. Yeah, I'll be honest, like against NG, of course, like. Props to them for winning against us, but I feel like it doesn't matter the map. If we go face the NG like ourselves, like we did today, not, a, not, a, not like split though, forget about split. Okay. 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 Then I think we're gonna win, doesn't matter the map. Mm. So I wanna follow up on sort of, again, talking about your old team, your new team. I think you played with two of the best duelists probably oh, yeah. ever. And as a supportive player, what is it like working with someone like Zek and like, oh. is, is, is it like, cause you throw some insane utility, yeah. but he does the job every time. I'll be honest, I was. I've been lucky so far to play like <laughs> with so much good duelists in my life. Like I play with Aspas and Alzacan. To be honest, I'm just here to do their job easier. That's it. Like I'm just here to throw flashes, spot, and, and everything, just to make their life easier. And for sure, like as I said before, I've been blessed to play with so much good players. Like not only Zach and Tyson too. Like he's a good player. I felt like coming into this series, I saw multiple moments where you had a real great game plan for what to do against Paper X. But there is kind of an elephant in the room there that you mentioned about your split. You've now lost it 13-5, 13-5, and it was exactly as all the rest of us were talking about how you had the best split in the world. Is this because other teams have figured you out? Is it something about the Pacific teams? Just a rough kind of idea without giving too much away. What do you think the, the core of that is? I'll be honest, it's kind of both. You know, some anti-strat on us, it's fine. But I feel that we still had the read on their anti-strat, but we didn't play as a team. Like, it's hard to say. I'm not trying to say, like, as an excuse, but to be fair, <laughs> we didn't play that good. Like, we are not proactive, like, as we do on split, you know? We on split, we play, like, defense, like, attack, and, like, on attack, we're, like, really proactive with reads as, as well. But, you know, we should be better for the, for the next day. Well, that, that's the thing, you kind of then flip the script, because Sunset has been an incredible map from them. Mm -hmm. They do play it kind of crazy still. So like, how how do you weather the storm versus a team like Paper Race? Because they are nuts. Yeah, they're nuts. They don't, but they don't play duelists. So we kind of knew like they don't have like a dive agent. So it was kind of like easy for John. And also we have Ko Knife, so it's kind of hard for them as well. I can see they're working because they use something with an operator. It's a, it's a good option on attack, yeah. and it's been working so far. But we were so aware of it, so we didn't get uh, pick off against him. So just as a quick aside. People have been, Paper X have been rating themselves all throughout the tournament. Six out of 10, 10 out of 10. What's your confidence level headed into the grand <laughs> final? <laughs> I mean, I'll be honest. I'm so much comfortable right now. I feel like a 10, I don't know. Really? Yeah. And yeah. Just coming off that glow of the high. I mean, you guys yeah. played fantastic. We've only got an eight. I, can't, I, can't. I was going to bring the board back <laughs> up, but we don't. Uh, we don't uh, I'll be honest. There, there you go. Perfect. Yeah. perfect. She yeah. predicted it. I think people will think about like the vetoes, advantage and, and stuff, but I'll be honest, we don't care. Like, yeah. even we play against, we play Breeze, we play Icebox, I think we're going to be ready for it. So it doesn't matter. We just got to play as a team. Yeah. Well, congratulations on your win Thank today, you. Sassy. In case anybody hasn't realized, we got our schedule ready. We got the teams that we know are going to be in the grand final of Masters Madrid. It's Gen G versus Sentinels. Gen G coming from the upper bracket, a rematch of that upper bracket finals, Tom, as well, with a massive map veto advantage, plus a wild show match, too. If you haven't realized, there's going to be a little agent reveal happening. We've got a big show starting the day <laughs> with a new agent, a show match happening with all of these. Wonderful influencers cracking around to a day to be here for, for sure, Tom. Oh, Mimi and Kaido on the same team. Can they lose? Like, honestly, <laughs> I, I already have full faith in Team International. No offense, Team Spain. Luckily, I'm on the international broadcast, so I can say that without anybody coming for me. <laughs> <laughs> and that, the day beginning at 4 p.m. tomorrow. So make sure you're there to be able to catch all of that. You don't just want to hit the grand final. We've got so, so much more for you. But again, congratulations, Sassy. Appreciate it very much. And good luck in your match tomorrow. <laughs> we will see you then. Thank you very much for watching. We'll see you tomorrow in the grand finals. Both teams had to overcome a lot of challenges just to get here. It is going to be about who can show up and get into that grand finals tomorrow.
the place is crowded just looking at what is going to be of these two teams. This first map could be almost a trendsetter. Alex! Well, he wants right, but he's still, he's got them all of the safety! He's swinging around the site. Something goes down, but Mike Freak succeeds. The down are just one now. Mike Freak, 21 HP! Oh, he's got Sentinels digging the heels in. The fuse is taken away. Oh, John QT! John QT, they want the fight. Oh, and Sunday goes above and beyond. And we are going on team. The TP, the TP is obscene. He let oh, he let go. Second, wrap this map up in a bow. Say oh, oh, my freaking nasty with it! They are ready on every single lane. The PRX want to play in. They are. There is another player on the side, but look at that! Oh, oh he plays so well! And they have no idea about Sen! Now it is time to shine! Sen! We're playing map two! One down, one top. Tekken is absolutely ripping him apart this round. Has he got any more? Yes, he does! Tekken! The paranoia does not land. And Marty Ed! What a moment for him! Can he get the pin? Yes, he can! Woohoo! Can he keep him alive on this map or are Paper X taking us the distance? They are! Never down! Never out! They can't quite get the second! Hold on! Three Tekken, look at you. Starts to be really shut down! What a read! And waiting for that cross, sharp as ever. He's getting one. He's got the three. And he finds his victim. It's Mind Freak remaining. He's creeping closer. Mind Freak's not stopping. He's got to check. And he does. Sentinels are going to the grand finals. America's last hope holds true.